I'm going to show off a few features in the November DMD release 11.11. .11. So as usual, you start just by inserting a card. Now you immediately get um, a total file count and file size for the card, which is very handy. Um, also shows the label and the card size. Insert another card. So again, um, this is a 32 gig card, as you can see, helps identify the cards. Total size pops up there immediately. And I'll insert a third card. This is a card from our Zoom H4n. File, or total card size, um, and the label, easy to identify. Previously, um, the importer wouldn't automatically start when you insert cards from H4n, so that's been fixed, which is exciting because they're they're very important devices um, and it'll just keep on doing its thing now a lot of the design behind this import workflow is the idea is you know you'll, you'll typically be doing something else in the meantime so when you have an application full screen all you see is the orange indicator there's no distracting progress bar or count or you know you can really focus on what you're doing and if you want to see the progress bar you can just move your mouse over the nice Unity launcher pops out, and you see the progress bar on the, the launcher icon here. Um, and it's designed to be, um, you know, very automated. Don't present options to the user that will allow them to cause data loss, um, which in this case is um, there should be no options. Um, you know, put the cards in, import all the files, and be productive. And now it's done. Get the total new files, total size. Now notice it automatically ejected all the cards. Um, the feature isn't enabled yet by default, but now DMedia can automatically format the cards after this is done. So, you know, once you complete the import process, there's no additional step for you to do. Um, and by automatically formatting the cards after they've been safely imported, it also eliminates the possibility of um, you know thinking you'd form thinking you'd import files and formatting a card in camera, um, so you know we reduce that problem to if there's files on the cards they need to be imported. You know, there's there's no gray area. Files import them. So yeah, that's that's that. Thanks.